Hayden. Hello, this time I'll return to one of my previous projects published a few months ago with the title Do It Yourself SI 47XX All Bent. DSP radio with 2.8 inch touch TFT display, which can also be obtained as a finished product under the name ATS25 All Band Radio. And first of all, let me mention that the most deserving people for the development of this wonderful radio are Ricardo Carati, Tiago, and Gert Bach. The reason for this post is a short presentation of the new firmware. Uh, with which this small radio gets new improvements and functions as well as options for a beautiful retro look in the form of a mechanical scale for selecting stations. Uh, the new software was developed by H Arduino and you can download Arduino ID compatible version 4.0 on their forum. Mainly the improvements consist in generally more stable operation, touch screen sensitivity improved, vertical screen option and other function. Now let's see how the radio works in real life, as well as some of the new features and improvements. Uh, in general, the entire menu has been made more functional and easy, easier to operate. The, the first thing that can be noticed on the start screen is more information about the current mode of operation. Another very important possibility is that we can change the volume by pressing, by, by pressing in the tuning knob once. Now there is no need for an additional potentiometer. The most important novelty, in my opinion, is the beautiful retro look mod which is perfectly done in the style of the radios of the 60s and 70s. Opština Kužani ги повикува сите граѓани кои претрпела материјална штета од синотишното невреме да поднесат пријава за проценка на штета во Обштина Кучани, поточно во Комисијата за проценка на штети од елементарни непогоди. Ниеко не пржит шо ме зотребе Харкан Бели. Тре, тре, тре. The scale can be localized very easy by editing the preset.h file and simply writing the frequencies and names of the local radio stations on the region in which we live. Uh, another new very useful function is spectrum display.
These are radio stations with, with relatively strong signal in our area. Uh, next, civil band uh, mode is added with with a uh, hundred and uh, ten hertz tuning steps with bis with display digits. Hundreds and tens. Uh, it is also a practical option to display the name of the station on the screen instead, instead of the fre frequency, as well as the RDS windows. Window is there is a such an opinion in FM band. Now in this case, by turning the rotary encoder, we select the stations that we previously set in preset.h. Uh, next, the settings button is also new, uh, in which we can set many new functions and also reset the software to factory settings. These are all options. Reset to factory. There are still many additions and changes that we will find if we walk through the entire menu, menu but also my general impression is that the entire menu is more readable and easier to use easier to use as far as i i have been able to find out from the next version 4.1 the software will have to be activated which means that it will not be free but it certainly deserves to be paid a reasonable amount of such a well-made piece of software and uh, finally, let me inform you that you can find more details about the construction method, previous codes, schematic diagram and other details in my two previous videos related to this project. The following is brief description of how this universal DSP radio was made. In short, the radio contains uh, several components. ESP32 microcontroller board, SI4732 radio chip, 2.8 inch TFT color, color display with touch screen, small D class power amplifier board, speaker, lithium battery 3.7 volt, lithium battery charger board, up converter board 3.7 to 5 volts. Rotary encoder and potentiometer.